I think just when you come in by boat, you can see just how special it is. It's uh, very serene. You've got the waves lapping on the shore. You really feel like you're arriving in a, a paradise island, like the Maldives or something. Basically, the island has a small hotel, several restaurants, beaches, pool, and there's just 23 privately owned homes here. There's, there's two main styles of home. The one we're in today is the larger, at around 18,000 square feet. And the beauty is you can use the house yourself or put it back into the hotel rental pool, as many of the owners do on a nightly basis. Just 10 minutes off the shore of uh, Abu Dhabi, and just a, a couple of nice days away, instead of flying several thousand kilometers. Hey guys, it's Nesta. Today we're gonna to be touring an exclusive villa on a private island just off the coast of Abu Dhabi. This is somewhere where stars like Lewis Hamilton and George Clooney have stayed. The estate villa has six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and an internal living space of 18,730 square feet on a one acre plot. It's currently listed for around 45 million dirhams, or around $12.3 million. And we'd like to thank Andrew from Henry Wiltshire for allowing us to take a tour of this property. And if you'd like to know more information, we'll leave his details in the description down below. So without further ado, let's begin the tour. Leading up to the home, we have this tiled walkway surrounded by these beautiful white stones and protruding out of the ground are these palm trees. Now, for me, this looks like it's the tip of a huge palm tree and it's like going 20, 30 meters below ground. Now, as we head further up to the building, you can see the full view of the home and you can see the exterior is mainly glass accented by that white stucco finish. And those soft curves on one side of the building with that grill at the top really reminds me of a contemporary home. Now this home doesn't have a garage because we arrived here by boat. So it's a really private island and you can tell that by just this yard here is surrounded by these huge trees which must be 30 meters tall. As we head up to the steps to the main front door, which is made out of wood, you can see these unique handles here. If you bear these in mind, these are gonna be featured quite predominantly throughout the home. So let's head in. Immediately, you can see that pattern is continued on the ceiling and on the walls. But the best thing, you're greeted by the view of the sea and the pool in the background through the living room. This is a stunning, but we'll get there later. These stairs here lead to the upstairs to the bedrooms but we're gonna take a tour of the ground floor first. As we head down these steps with the recessed lighting, you can see this is a tiled floors throughout. And these door here, again with that same pattern, lead into the kitchen and the office, which is our first stop along the way. Right here in the back, you have this futuristic metal office desk with a seating area right in the front. You also have a view onto the sea and that pool from here, but we're gonna continue the tour down the corridor, which leads from the lobby also. Right at the end, you have a guest bedroom either side. We're gonna go inside this one first. You have the bed right in the center with the tables either side. Now, this pocket door here leads into the walk-in closet, which stretches down the length of this room. So you can go inside and walk out on the other side. At the back here, we have the ensuite bathroom with the marble vanity and that huge mirror also has that same marble design accented on the borders. Here in the back, we have a bathtub, and obviously you have to have a walk-in shower. Now, I love the mosaic tile design in this shower. You have that rain head above and the water closet with the essential bidet. Now, the other bedroom has a little bit of a different layout. So you have the seating area here at the front with this coffee table with that unique wooden stand beneath it. I love that little detail. You have the bed in the center at the back, but the walk-in closet is through this door here. One thing I do want to mention, from this side you have access to the front of the building through this door right here. So if you're as staying as a guest, you can come in privately and not through the main door. So the walk-in closet has the same dark wooden cabinets that we saw in the first guest bedroom, and this leads directly into the ensuite bathroom 
through the pocket door. You have the bathtub in the back, but this time the marble that they've used in this ensuite bathroom is a little bit lighter. They've used it again around the accent of the mirror and the frame of the doors. You have the walk-in shower here in the back. Again, we have the water closet and the bidet in the back. But heading back down the corridor, we go by the office again, and what I didn't show you is the guest bathroom. So back from the lobby, we're heading further towards the great room. But before we get in there, I wanna show you the kitchen just through here. So you have the island in the center. This is the show kitchen, but you have everything you need. So at the front, you have the convection oven, the wine cooler, you have a hot plate for cooking. At the front here, we have the breakfast bar and so much storage, and obviously that view in the back, which we're getting to soon. Right around this way, this is the dirty kitchen with the breakfast table right in the front. You have everything also that you'd need. So you have a convection oven, coffee machine, and so much storage. This home is kitted out for renting as well. So they do rent this place by the night. It is for sale, but it is possible to rent it out just by night. So let's head through to the great hall. Right by the kitchen is the dining table where you also have these steps with the recessed lighting. Now this table has a really cool effect. It has that glass with the seashells underneath. I love the materials that they've used. If we continue our way forward this way, down these steps to the other side. Now right next to the office is as sort of a relaxation area. Now you have a bar and a pool table. I've not played pool in a while, so I think I'm gonna have a go. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. Got one in. It's coming. Scoom, that's two. <laughs> right, boom. So, this is a recreational area. You have the bar at the back. Now, what I love about this great room is this, it's not a skylight. It's sort of, it's that Arabic design. And once the sun comes over during the day, it creates these beautiful patterns all over the house. At one point, there was an A like written just above the bar. It was beautiful. Just below the recreational area, is a seat, well, it's the TV area. Now, one detail that I like is that how they've used glass banisters because it sort of doesn't close this room off and this space feels just like one area. You have the TV set up in the back with this huge couch. Now, what we've done, as you might have noticed, we've opened these doors all the way out. So it feels like one big space. On the other side of the great room is the living area. Now this, you could probably host about 20 to 40 people. And this living area is connected to the seating outside, which creates this whole in and out flow with the whole of the downstairs. To this side of the property, we have another wing, which has this huge room, which is unused at the moment, but me and Michael decided we'd probably use it for a gym or something like that, just because of that view onto the sea. Imagine waking up in the morning and doing your morning workout, looking out to there. In the center, we have this beautiful infinity pool, and whilst you're inside, it just looks straight out onto the sea. To this side, we have an informal dining area with this pathway, which leads down towards the beach. Now again, it's those tiles with the white stone details. I love how it contrasts so well with that grass. Looking out to that side, we have a pier. So if you've got your own private boat, you can rock up here in that. At the bottom, we have the sun loungers at the bottom looking out onto the sea. I can't begin to explain how beautiful this view is and I hope you can hear the sound of those waves crashing against the seashore. I tell you what, if I had to wake up here have a coffee, sit and look out, I would not be complaining. Also in the back, you have a view onto the full Abu Dhabi skyline. As you can see, that boat is going by right now. This is such a vibe. From here you can see we're back by the main door and the stairs to go up they have a screen door which has that same pattern that we've been seeing throughout and as we head up if you remember the glass railings from the living room they've used that also on the stairs which creates a lot more of that open space as i said before at the top of the stairs we have a seating area which looks out onto the front and onto the sea view there now what they've done is they've used the grass to cover that roof. So it looks like from here, you're not even sitting on the first floor. If you head down with me, down this corridor, we're gonna explore the bedrooms. Right behind you is the primary bedroom. We're gonna save that for last. You can see how those 
windows that we saw at the beginning of the tour on the facade of the building, it brings in so much of that natural light. Now let's head into the first guest bedroom. You walk straight through the walk-in closet, which also has those dark wooden cabinets. Now they've used that on the door of the entrance, so it fits quite flush. Now if you go inside, you can see it's quite similar to the ensuite bathrooms that we've seen till now, except it has a different theme. So it's more of a red tones in here. And you can see that through the mosaic designs that they have with the walk-in shower and the bidet, which is now closed off in here. At the back, we have a bathtub with that same Arabic design and those accents of the red marble. In the guest bedroom, so we see we have wooden floors throughout and this four post bed right in the center. You have a seating area here in the back and I'm gonna be talking about views a lot in this video. This has one of the most amazing views, except for obviously the primary bedroom. Now let's head to the second bedroom. It's quite a similar layout with the walk-in and the bathroom at the beginning. And in the bedroom itself, we have the four poster bed on one side and the seating area on the other. And those huge floor to ceiling glass windows, which bring in so much of that natural light. Let's head to the junior suite, which has its own little area just before you enter. Now this is currently unused, but you could use it for something like an office or a little gym. The layout is similar again. So we have the walk-in closet, which leads into the ensuite bathroom. Now this is slightly different in here. Again, we have those marble trims, which are gray, but they also have a sparkly black accent with the bathtub in the back. Now I call this the junior suite because it has the best view, apart from the primary bedroom, of course, and a couple of little amenities. You have that felt padded back wall on the poster bed and obviously that seating in front. Now, if you want to come out with me and check out this view, the sun setting, so the day is getting more beautiful as we go along. You can see the beach in the back, the skyline, and that sun is just sort of shining across that ocean. It looks beautiful. But let's head over to the landing and we'll enter the primary bedroom. Now you can see as soon as we enter how big this primary bedroom is. This is bigger than some apartments that I've lived in. And trust me, I've lived in some box apartments, especially if it was in Paris, that was like 12 meters squared. Anyway, let's continue with the tour. This part of the room, we have like an office desk setup. Now, this is something I can imagine seeing in Architectural Digest. It's super simplistic, but it just stands out to me. To this side of the room, we have the seating area with the TV setup in front with that same type of wood that we saw with the office desk in the back. There's that view. Now, I remember telling you from the landing area that they've used that grass on top of that first floor. So it feels like you're sitting on the ground floor. Towards the back of the room, we have another four poster bed. This one feels so much nicer as well. I think they've used a different type of wood with that bed sit in the front. Towards this way, there's these dual pocket doors which open up into the walk-in. And now I love the color that they've used. It contrasts so well with the floor. Now the walk-in is huge. They've used that same dark wood that we've seen throughout all the other walk-ins, but there is so much storage. You even have a view onto the front of the property. Continuing with the primary, this is the ensuite bathroom. Now they have a glass door here. This feels like you're walking into a spa. And let me tell you, it does feel like you're in a spa. You have two entry points here. One is into the walk-in shower. There's that huge rain head above and the water closet. I love that mosaic tiles that we've seen throughout the property. Opposite that is the spa area. So you have the double floating vanity. Now I love the yellow marble that they've used with these huge mirrors on both sides. So it opens up this space even more. But the pièce de résistance in here is the hot tub that looks out onto the sea. They've used that blue marble which contrasts so well with the yellow gold that they've used throughout. Now unfortunately we have to end this tour on the balcony of this beautiful primary bedroom. Again, I want to thank Andrew from Henry Wiltshire for allowing us to take a tour of this home. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next tour.